Hello, hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you doing today? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Boring. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, why? <laughs> why are you bored? Hello. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. How are you feeling today? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo, ¿Qué ánimos tenemos este día? Happy, excellent, so so. Teacher. How do you feel? Hello. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Ahorita va entrando a la clase. Dinora Pineda. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how are you doing? ¿Cómo, se, cómo, ¿Cómo estamos este día? Nice. Excellent. Bye. Thank you so much. Nice. Thank you so Bye. much. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much for the confirmation. Perfect. I want to thank you for your punctuality to be here and the effort that you always do to be part of this uh, video conferences. Thank you so much. Let me get started. Let me check on something and we get started on today's class. All right, we're going to start by checking on the attendance. So when you listen to your name, please you make a uh, verbal confirmation that you are part of this video conference. Let me open the document. All right, let's get started on this one. Uh, Dinora Lisette Pineda. Present. Thank you. Dora Mary Beltran. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Felix Elgardo Escobar Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Israel Antonio Torres. Israel Antonio Torres. Probably not at this time. Lilian Saray Montes Galindo. Lilian Saray. Probably not at this moment. Lisset Marisol Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Marcela Yvonne Nerio. Marcela Yvonne Nerio, probably not at this time. Maria de los Angeles Hernandez, not at this time. Norman Sted Rivera. Norman Rivera, probably not at this time. Uh, Osvaldo Aristides Mendez. Present. Thank you so much. Rebecca Ivonne Rivas. Present. Thank you so much. Santos Bolaños. Present. Thank you so much. Saúl Alfredo Barahona. Raúl Alfredo Barahona, probably not at this time. Susana Betsabe Flamenco. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Tania Karina Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Jamilet Escobar. Present. Thank you. Vilma Contreras Sumaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Alberto Sánchez. Walter Alberto Sánchez, probably not at this time. Walter Eleazar Morán. Present. Thank you so much. <coughs> Wilfredo Hernández Vázquez. <coughs> Present teacher. Thank you. Yesenia Carolina Lemus. Probably not at this time. And Zulma Beatriz Galdames. 
Present teacher. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for your confirmation for today's session. Let me check on some information before we get started. Thank you. Okay, I want I want to first start by congratulating you, all of you, for completing the platform. That is really nice, and I really thank you for the effort that you are doing to achieve your goal. That is really nice. Remember that <clears throat> this is part of the of the responsibilities. But besides being a responsibility it is something of benefit for you. And that is like the main goal is a benefit for you. So I want to congratulate you for completing on the platform. Quisiera iniciar eh, felicitándoles, felicitándoles por su esfuerzo, por el tiempo de conexión, ¿verdad? Porque han estado acá conectados, eh, haciendo el esfuerzo en estas sesiones que hemos tenido. E igualmente estaba revisando la plataforma Y puedo ver que todos han completado los ejercicios en un 100% y eso es muy satisfactorio, ¿verdad? Y como les mencionaba, el beneficio es para ustedes mismos, ¿verdad? Porque es el esfuerzo que usted pone en alcanzar un objetivo, ¿verdad? Entonces, lejos de ser un requisito para inscripción, también es, es, eh, es nuestro esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Y es lo que nosotros eh, hacemos para alcanzar nuestra meta. Y así que yo les felicito porque han sido un grupo muy, muy aplicado y han atendido el llamado cuando se les ha solicitado su colaboración en completar los ejercicios. So, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Let's get started by checking on some information and we can have a lot of speaking practice for today. All right, perfect. Let's get started. Uh, uh, some people are just joining, so welcome everyone. Today we have class uh, or session 16. That is the last one for the course. And let's take advantage of this time. As I mentioned today, you see we completed that complete course with the sessions and also with the platform, with the work that you did in the platform. For today, we are going to be talking about childhood memories. And for that one, we will continue using the simple past, uh, regular, irregular verbs, and also the verb to be to express our ideas about something that happened in the past. Take a look on this one. I have, we're going to be working with some questions in the simple past, but we're going to Give it a twist for this one. As you can see, I have different sentences and they are answers for some questions. Let's check on the sentences and try to imagine what the question is, all right? So in this one, we inverted the order because we usually have a question and then we provide the answer. But at this time, we have the answer and we need to think about the possible question. The first sentence, goes like this and I will I will ask some people so you can also participate on this one. Miss Lisette, can you I need your help to read only the first sentence, only the first one that you see on the screen. Um que lo lea, me dijo. <laughs> yeah on, only the first sentence. She was only that sentence. Okay. She was really uh, Shy. 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 Thank you so much. Uh, Lily, welcome. Can you, I need your help to read sentence number two, please. I was born in 1986. 86. Thank you. Perfect. I continue. Felix, next one. Not the next sentence is for you, Felix. My best friend was Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, the next sentence is for Miss Vilma Contreras. I read. I grew read. Up. Grew read up. Mm -hmm. In San Salvador. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 
The next sentence is for Tania Karina. Tania Karina Moreno. I started high school in 2001. 2001, thank you so much, thank you. And the last sentence is for Mr. Norman Rivera. Hi. Hello. I need your help to read the last sentence. Okay, the last sentence. Uh, uh, I look English class at school. Okay, thank you so much. In this case, the, the verb is took. I took. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Took uh, English I, class. Yo vi que decía look. No problem. Because of the size of the letters, tal vez por la letra, tal vez está un poco pequeña. Can you read it one more time, please? Sí, aquí le puedo dar zoom, pero se me olvidó darle zoom. No problem. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, entonces dice, I took English class at school. Thank you, perfect, Norman. Thank you so much. All right. As you can see okay. in this one, we have affirmative sentences and they represent answers. At this moment, the exercise is to think about the question the person asked to receive this type of answer. For example, in number one, as uh, somebody helped me, it says, she was really shy. What is a possible answer the person asked to receive this question? What do you think? Any of the volunteers to express your ideas. Necesito voluntarios. De tenemos la oración y dice que ella era bastante tímida. ¿Qué, le ¿Qué pregunta se habrá formulado para que la persona expresara eso? Que ella era bastante tímida. I need volunteers to express ideas. Everybody looks surprised yeah, yeah. at this point. Thank you. Tell me, tell me, dear. Uh, uh, did you have no? Uh, did you have friends or si tiene amigos? Ah. Do you, have, do you have? Do you have friends? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your version. Muchas gracias. Voy a escuchar diferentes versiones y luego chequeamos cuál pudiera yeah, ser una posible pregunta. Thank you so much, Norman, for your collaboration. More volunteers. More volunteers to express Sería, ideas. Sería, teacher, uh -huh. uh, yeah. what was your best friend? Okay, what was your best friend? Uh -huh. Thank you so much. We're getting closer. We're getting closer to the principal idea. Thank you for your collaboration. I uh, need a third volunteer. Because she mm -hmm. did, did dance. All right. Thank you so much. It could be possible because she danced. All right. Thank you. And like, like mm -hmm. she was. Like she was, aha, getting closer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I will help you on this one. As you can see, the sentence is like a description about the personality, right? Because it says sure. she was really shy. Tell me, Wilfredo. Uh, how is she? How is she? Okay, getting close, getting close, right? Thank you so much. In this one, as you see, it's a description about the personality. A possible question to get this information could be, how was she like? Right? How was she like? ¿Cómo era ella? Esa sería la pregunta. How was she like? And in this one, you can say she was really shy. That is a possibility. Or in, other, or in other form, you can say, what was she like? ¿Verdad? También podríamos alternarlo con la palabra WHO, what. Right? How was she like? Preguntamos, ¿cómo era ella? En este caso, pudiéramos describir tanto personalidad, ¿verdad? Porque ahí temo, tenemos descripción de que ella era tímida. But it is possible to make a... Uh, personal description, a physical description about the person, 
how was she like? Oh, she was tall. She was beautiful. She had long hair. And then you, you can start giving a physical description about a person. ¿verdad? Puede, eh, esta pregunta nos puede servir tanto para solicitar una descripción física como algo de personalidad. Okay? Check on the next one. The next sentence. The next affirmative answer. I was born in 1986. What is a possible question the person asked? Uh, when were you where born? Were you born. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you for your collaboration. And that is okay. When were you born? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is similar to the practice we did some, some sessions ago. When were you born? And the answer, I was born in 1986, right? We provide the, uh, the, the year because we are including the, the WH word when, right? When, talking about time, 1986. Thank you, thank you. That's really nice. What about the next one? My best friend was Jimmy. What is the possible question for this one? Who was your best friend? Thank you, Lily. Who was your best friend? Thank you. Because in this one, the emphasis is asking for a person, right? And, and the answer expresses or emphasizes talking about one person. My best friend was Jimmy. Question, who was your best friend? Thanks so much. And in this one, the next one, I will address this uh, specifically. So for the next question, I need the help of, let's see, Mr. Santos. I need your help, Mr. Santos, to create the question for the next answer that we have on the screen. The next one is, I grew up in San Salvador. What is a possible question, Mr. Santos? Uh, if you can help me with the microphone, Mr. Santos, please. Okay, perdón. Don't eh, copy the teacher. Ya le está copiando al teacher para que cuando viene el breakup room, <laughs> hable, hable. Y nadie le... eh, sí. <laughs> Thank you, Santos. Estaba revisando la apunte, teacher. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Eh, Thank you. Where was your... Uh, in this one, the, the, same, the, the answer is, I grew mm -hmm. up, ¿verdad? La persona reporta, yo crecí right. en San Salvador, ¿verdad? Ya tenemos el verbo grew. Esa sería nuestra referencia para saber right. utilizar el verbo en la pregunta. Tell me, what is your version? Mm -hmm. Where, what, grew at? All right, thank you. Thank you so much for your version. I will ask more people. I will ask Miss Sulma Beatriz. Tell me, Sulma, what is your version for that question? Where, 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 grew up. All right. Thank you so much. Where, where, grew up. Thank you for your version. I will ask other person. Osvaldo, tell me your version for this sentence. Este momento estamos brindando, yo los escucho, ¿verdad? Al final vamos a descubrir cuál opción pudiera ser la verdadera. Osvaldo, tell me your version. Yo lo veo algo afligido en este día. <laughs> yes, un poco. <laughs> That's a piece of cake. El pan comido, uh -huh. esto, no problem. All right. Tell me your version. Go ahead. Uh, this, uh, I took English class at, uh, at school. But, um, uh, no, for grow up. Todavía uh -huh. no hemos descubierto por, por grow up. Uh -huh. Estamos con la, la respuesta o la pregunta más bien dicho. Porque uh -huh. estamos con la información. Yo crecí en San Salvador. La, I grew uh -huh. up in San Salvador. Todavía uh -huh. no nos hemos movido de esa. Uh -huh. Quisiera uh -huh. escuchar su versión. About that one. Mm -hmm. um, uh, 
Where was mm -hmm. your bread? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your version. Let me help you on this one, guys. As remember on this one in the sentence, we have uh, the action verb grew. ¿verdad? En este caso, si identificamos en las primeras tres preguntas, el elemento del el verbo to be está presente, ¿verdad? Si lo vemos y por eso lo utilizamos en la pregunta, ¿verdad? En la primera, how was she like? Where were you born? El where es la forma eh, adecuada al, su, al sujeto you, ¿verdad? Pero siempre el verbo to be está presente. En la third one, who was your best friend? My best friend was Jimmy, ¿verdad? En esas tres se utilizó el verbo to be. En la siguiente, el verbo to be ya no se utilizó porque estamos hablando con, estamos utilizando verbos de acción, ¿verdad? El verbo crecer, en este caso yo crecí en San Salvador. Remember that for action verbs, we use the auxiliary did. Did, that is the important. Mm -hmm. Where did you grow up? Thank you, thank you. Perfect, perfect. In this case, we, mm -hmm, we can take the verb grew up and use it in the question. Ahí lo que tenemos que hacer, como ya tenemos el verbo de acción y lo están reportando en pasado, nada más recordar el formato de la pregunta y recuérdense que para verbo de acción utilizamos el auxiliar did. Y aparte, cuando utilizamos un auxiliar en preguntas, también el verbo regresa a su forma base. ¿verdad? No vamos a utilizar grew up, eso es nada más en el afirmativo. En este caso, la pregunta sería... Where did you grow up? ¿Dónde creciste? ¿Verdad? Y la persona reporta, I grew up in San Salvador. Okay? That should be the, the, the question. Then I will continue with the next one. The next sentence is, I start the school in 2001. And I will require Walter Moran. Tell me, what is your version for that sentence? When, when were, uh, when were, uh, star, um, when were, star mm -hmm. studies, when were, uh, uh, when were, star to studies, okay, to study, study, right, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your version. I will ask Mr. The next Walter, Walter Alberto Sanchez, to I need your help for the version of this question. Uh, when did you start? Mm -hmm. When did you start? A school. School. Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Walter. And let me tell you, and that is correct. Thank you. In this case, we can say, when did you start school? Perfect. Remember, we have an action verb. Recordamos igual que tenemos un verbo de acción. El verbo start está en el, en el pasado. ¿verdad? Y es un verbo regular. Pero como igual tenemos un verbo de acción, utilizamos el did. El verbo to be no lo utilizamos y no nos sirve para formular preguntas con verbos de acción. Por eso recordamos utilizar el did, ¿verdad? Y el verbo en su forma base, tal cual como tenemos en pantalla. When did you start school? Cuando iniciaste la escuela. ¿verdad? Y la persona reporta, I started school in 2001. Tenemos ahí la respuesta que la persona ha, ha dado, ¿verdad? A esa pregunta. What about the next one? Check on the last one. Veamos la última. I took... English class at school. That is the sentence. That is the answer. I took English class at school. At this moment, I will ask other person. Miss Dora Mary Beltran, tell me your possible version for this question. When did you took English class? All right. When did you took English class? Thank you so much. I will ask other first, Susana Flamenco, tell me your version. Mm. 
what what is your favorite class all right what was your favorite class thank you thank you so much i will ask other person let me see i will ask rebecca rivas i need your help on this one miss rebecca um, where did you take english class all right thank you so much thank you so much osvaldo sorry for for, for that tell me now tell me your your idea about this question uh, so when did you take english class all right thank you so much thank you so much for your version and finally i will ask let's see miss lily montes to give it a try tell me what's your version for this sentence and where did you take english class where did you take english class all right thank you thank you thank you and finally I will ask Ms. Dinora Pineda, tell me what is your version for this question? What, what do you speak in your class? <laughs> All right, thank you so take, much. Take your class, sería verdad, porque tú es el take. Exactly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your versions are okay. Let me show you my, the version that I have for this possible question. I have, what class did you take at school? ¿Verdad? Pudiera ser una variante. ¿Qué clase tomaste en escuela? ¿Verdad? Y reporta la persona, I took English class at school. Pero escucho una versión también. Where did you take English class? ¿Verdad? ¿Dónde tomaste en las clases de inglés? Como tenemos el complemento de lugar, es posible utilizar where. Where did you take English class? ¿Verdad? ¿Dónde tomaste clases de inglés? Y la persona reporta, I took English class at school. En este caso, pudiéramos tener dos posibles preguntas. ¿Verdad? Así que por ahí me formularon esa pregunta y es válida porque tenemos dos complementos. Yo puedo preguntar, ¿dónde? Eh, eh, ¿Qué clase tomaste en la escuela? Yo tomé inglés. ¿O dónde tomaste inglés? Lo tomé en la escuela. O sea, jugando con el idioma, pero las dos preguntas tendrían que ser formuladas correctamente, ¿verdad? What class did you take at school? Or where did you take English class? Y cualquiera de las dos pudiera ser una variante válida. ¿Ok? Uh, before we move on to the next part of this session, I don't know if there is any question about the information that we are talking about at this moment. Any question? Questions, questions? I'm all ears. Soy todo oídos y tenemos preguntas. Questions, questions? No questions at this moment. I see, I, I see you a little puzzled. Lo veo algo así, como que, no sé, no sé ni cómo interpretarlo, confundido, asustado. Veo diferentes expresiones at this moment. <laughs> Different expressions. Now, nah, come on. As I told you, this is the challenge that we are facing, right? To create questions. Nah, Me hace sure. pensar la, ver todo esto. Exacto. Y a veces es la idea, ¿verdad? Que eso nos sirva de complemento y que nos motive, pues espero que lejos de hacernos sentir, es como que puchica, no, no, no le atine a ninguna, sino que eso nos motive, es decir, hey, vemos los modelos de cómo preguntar y también que le sirva a usted para poder eh, seguir practicando. Como les comentaba, eh, el, el reto a veces es grande y tenemos que, ¿cómo se llama?, eh, entrarle con toda la práctica. ¿okay? Ese es el consejo. Porque si nos quedamos con que, ay, esto está difícil, pero si no hacemos nada, no vamos a salir de, ese, de, de donde nos encontramos. ¿verdad? Así que recuérdese los modelos. Usted mentalmente, como le decía ayer, uh, remember the, the word order. Remember on the elements that you need to create a question and you can create some information. ¿verdad? Usted puede crear ahí la información. Como ve este ejercicio, teníamos eh, respuestas afirmativas, las convertimos a preguntas. ¿verdad? Y si usted también gusta, 
puede pasarlas a negativo y eso nos va a servir como un ejercicio para saber el orden de los elementos y cómo expresar nuestras ideas adecuadamente. Lo que he podido notar en este caso es de que a veces incluimos el verbo to be. But remember, when we have action verbs, the verb to be is not necessary. No sé si a veces les ocurría, a mí me pasaba cuando estaba aprendiendo el idioma y cuando estaba viendo el presente a todo le, le metía el verbo to be, am, is, are y todo eso. Ocurre también esto en el pasado. Lo que necesitamos tal vez prestarle un poquito más de atención o ver qué preguntas si requiere el verbo to be y qué preguntas no. Como tip, recuérdense que cada vez que tenemos un verbo de acción, ¿verdad? Cook, uh, walk, watch, uh, start, begin, climb, feel, fail, all of them, when you have an action, the verb to be is not necessary. It's not necessary to create a question. ¿verdad? Nada más como consejo. Si usted ve que tenemos una acción, ¿verdad? Con todos los verbos que ya conocemos, sea presente o pasado, eso aplica para los dos tiempos. El verbo to be no va a ser requerido para ese tiempo, para el presente, ni mucho menos en el pasado. Así para no, no utilizar un auxiliar que no es el correspondiente al, 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 a la estructura que estamos expresando. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. We're going to continue and we, we move on to the next part of the class. I share this information with you. Uh, if you read it, that's fine. If you checked it on the WhatsApp group, fine. If you didn't, well, you at this moment, you have the questions, right? So there is no problem. I sent you the information just for you to be prepared, just for you to think about the possible answers and to be able to give more details. But if not, we do it on the spot, right? Si tuvieron la chance de revisarlo, perfecto. Si no, no se preocupe. La idea es para que usted se preparara mentalmente y pensar qué detalles podría dar. Y si no, pues lo hacemos aquí en el momento, on spot, right? Sí, bien espontáneo. I have a couple of questions for this practice. As number one, what did you wear for the last party you attended? ¿La ¿Qué vistió usted en la última fiesta que asistió? And then you mentioned, ah, oh, I wore a black t-shirt. I wore a cap and I wore some shorts, right? And then you express uh, the different clothes that you wore. And number two, how was your first day of school or work? ¿verdad? ¿Cómo fue su primer día de escuela o de trabajo? Algunos yo sé que trabajan, otros tal vez estudian. And then you, you express ideas. Oh, my first day of school was amazing because I met many people or the In the first day, I was nervous. You express ideas using the verb to be. ¿verdad? Aquí utilizamos el inicio, el verbo to be para mencionar un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Si fue, it was stressful, fue estresante. It was amazing, fue increíble. It was uh, frightening, ¿verdad? Que si, pucha, le generó miedo o algo así. And you express ideas. But for this one, for the first part, it is possible to use the verb to be. ¿verdad? Con adjetivos, sí es posible utilizar el verbo to be. Y después usted puede dar más detalle. But because, and then you extend, uh, and you expand your answer. Number three. What did you enjoy the most about school? ¿Qué es lo que usted disfrutó más de su tiempo en la escuela? Si todavía está en la escuela, haga referencia al año pasado, ¿verdad? O años anteriores. Porque tal vez usted me dice, no he terminado la escuela. Okay, you think about that one. And then you express the ideas. For example, I, enjoy, I really enjoyed the time I spent with my friends. I remember I played soccer in the break time. When the class finished, we went to the soccer field and we played with other people from other grades. Right? And then you start giving information about that. Number four, what games did you play with your neighbors? ¿Qué juegos usted eh, jugó? Con sus vecinos, haciendo referencia a su niñez. Oh, and then you say, I played soccer, I played basketball, I played hide and seek, ¿verdad? Jugar escondelero, hide and seek, ¿verdad? And then you express ideas. Next one, what was your best friend at school like? ¿Cómo era su mejor amigo? Puede, puede expresar ideas de 
físicamente. My best friend was short. My best friend was a little chubby, ¿verdad? Un poquitito rellenito, no gordo, pero rellenito, similar like me, como yo. And you can say also information about personality. He was a good friend. He was friendly. He was polite. Era una persona muy educada. And you give information. Physical or talking about personality. And the last one, when was the last time you felt excited? Explain. La última es que, que le pregunta cuándo fue la última vez que usted se, se sintió emocionado y explicar por qué. Huh? And you say, I felt excited because I traveled to a new place. I visited a new place with my family. Uh, and you start giving information about probably the actions or why you felt excited, right? That is, those are the questions that we are going to implement in this speaking practice. Before we move to the breakup rooms, uh, I would like to know if there is any question about the information on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Puedo explicar la primera pregunta? Yes, no problem. In the first one, what did you wear for the last party you attended? Vamos a reportar o la pregunta literalmente le dice que ¿Qué vistió usted en la última fiesta que asistió? Entonces hablamos de nuestro atuendo. Entonces ahí puede decir el verbo wear en, pas en pasado es wore. Entonces usted menciona I wore uh, for probably uh, some pants, ¿verdad? pantalones formales, pants. I wore... Uh, uh, smoking, right? Tal vez un, un traje de gala. I wore a tie because I attended a graduation. Uh, yo doy un poco más de detalles. Aparte de mencionar la ropa, yo también puedo dar detalles y dar información de, de qué tipo de fiesta fue. A, a birthday party, a wedding, a graduation, and then you expand your answer. Uh, is it clear now? Estamos un poco más claros en la pregunta, Mr. Walter? Yes, it's is correct. Right. Okay, perfect. My pleasure. Con gusto. If there are no more questions, we get started. We will work in 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 pairs. Let me see. Michelle. Okay. Yes, tell me. En la pregunta número uno, cuando mm -hmm. contestan yo, I put on a black dress and his shoes. I put put on. It's possible. Uh -huh. I put, put on. on. Yeah, uh -huh. on. Uh -huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Ese verbo sí es como similar o un sinónimo al wear or wore, ¿verdad? Put on, ahí sí. Pero si solo decimos, solo decimos put, entonces el put sí no nos funciona. Pero el put on sí, ¿verdad? Put on. Put okay. y la preposición on. Put on. Uh -huh. And then you express ideas. Perfect. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Good job. All right. Let me get started on this one. So we can create, start talking about the information. Let's see, what 18, 17 people. All right, you will receive the invitation and you start talking about the different sentences that we have. Just let me check on this one. All right, perfect. I send the invitation at this moment and let's do our best to practice uh, with the questions.
el pasado de were es were. Word, pero no sería I was. Sería I were. I were. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces sería I were is the blue, blue, blue jeans and the, the, the t-shirt, uh, white, white t-shirt and the, the tennis, the shoes okay. tennis. Ahora le pregunta a Dinora. Okay, Dinora, uh, what do you do? What do you wear for the last what party did? attended? Did. What Sorry did? for the interruption. What did? Uh -huh. What did? In the simple past. What, what did, did you wear? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. What did you wear? What did? what did you wear for the last party attended? What? No, no. I don't answer then the question. Understand. Understand. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, why not, Miss Dinora? No sé si tenía dudas. Antes de la práctica, yo les comentaba si tenía. Dígame. Sí, pero otra vez la, la pregunta. Ok, no <laughs> problem. Pero sabe cómo... Pero antes, sorry, Mr. Santos, pero sabemos cómo responder, Miss Dinora, porque si no, le, le ayudo antes de... Es que eh, escucho que dice el did y el was. No, en este es well, did. Was no. did. No, what did you wear? La pronunciación del verbo vestir es similar a la, a la pronunciación del verbo, el verbo to be, wear. Entonces, tal vez por eso usted lo escucha similar, pero porque uh -huh. la pronunciación es similar, pero en este caso uh -huh. no se está utilizando el verbo to be en pasado, sino que el verbo vestir. Por eso tal vez la confusión. Santos, uh -huh. mister, uh -huh. create a okay. question one more time, please. Okay, what did you wear for the last party attended? Mm -hmm. I, I, <laughs> I wore. Ahí um, utilizamos el verbo en pasado, sería wore. I wore, uh -huh. y a continuación, uh -huh. usted incluye los artículos de ropa que vistió uh -huh. en la última fiesta que usted atendió. Uh -huh. uh, I wore uh, pants. Pants. Mm -hmm. And t-shirt. T-shirt? Or teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Camiseta. Teacher. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Continue asking. Voy a chequear con los demás. Sigamos trabajando en expressing your ideas. Thank you so much. Because. Because. Okay. 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 ¿Ya practicaron? No. Si quiere comencemos. Estamos esperando. Ok, thank you. Eh, sí. Le pregunto a Rebeca. Sí. ¿Preguntamos una a una o preguntamos todas de una vez? One, one. Ok, ok. Ok, Rebeca. Eh, what do you wear for the last party you at attended? Attended. Mm -hmm. Attended. Um, for my sister party, I wore new jeans, a t-shirt, and a new shoes. New shoes. Oh. Yeah. Y yo le pregunto a... Norman. A Norman. Norman. What did yes. you do the last party you attended? Uh, uh, I, I, I wear. I wore. I wore. I wore a pants black, color black, and shoes color black, and a jacket, a, a shirt, shirt color white shirt. Y um, por pata, no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Uh, ¿Color? ¿Sor? Por pata. Hi. 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 Color. Color. Blue. Blue. Yes. Eh, eh, yes. I wore. 
teacher. Okay, Felix. What did you wear for the last party you attended? I wore I wore pants formal. Formal pants. I I wore formal pants. Mm -hmm. I teacher. I teacher. I tear. Mm -hmm. I I black shoe. Shoe. Mm -hmm. uh, in the graduation. The graduation, all right. Okay. How was your first day of school or work? I, I. It was, or in this case, you can answer. Si quieres reportar eh, una descripción del día, podría ser it was. ¿verdad? Como el día fue, ¿verdad? It was. O si quisiera usted reportar cómo se sintió, podría decir I was, lo acompaña de un adjetivo. Cualquier opción es viable. Uh, was, ¿qué dijo la primera? It was, si hablamos del... It del, was. Del, it, uh -huh. was uh, it, it was... Uh, a feel... Mm -hmm. Feel in the school. Mm -hmm. Feel happy in the school. I felt. Mm -hmm. I felt happy. Felt happy in school. In the school. All right. Thank you. Good job. Uh, next, what did you enjoy the most about school? En español, ¿qué significa? No, no le entendí esa. ¿Qué es lo que más disfrutó de, de la escuela? Pues ahí puede hablar de experiencia. Como yo les comentaba en la práctica o en la sala principal, es que yo disfruté que jugaba fútbol con mis compañeros en el receso Ajá. o tal vez alguna acción que se hacía con, en la escuela o alguna materia o, alguna, o algún juego o algo que hacía en el receso. Podría ser. Ay... I enjoy, I enjoy Hi teacher. Hello, hello, how are you doing? I'm fine. Fine, perfect. Are you, are you <laughs> finished with the practice? Or? No, no, no. Estamos no, no. esperando que el compañero respondiera. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. I listen to you then. Let's pues, escucho. A, a comenzar íbamos porque terminando estaba, teacher. All right, no a problem. Serle sincero. No problem. Okay. Eh, ¿Preguntas o pregunto? Como usted guste. Si gusta, nos vamos okay. una y una. Uh -huh. Una y una, okay. okay. Pregunta. My, what did you learn for the last party to attend? I wore pants uh, for my ship and my tie. In the tie. Oh. Okay. Um, how was your first day of school? Um, I was a little scared. And uh, science said I was going to meet near people, near teacher, and I was afraid of going to the warm room. Um, but in the end, it was very good for me. I met many very uh, keen people and very good teachers. Thank you. Thank you. Just uh, a comment on this one. When you mentioned the the adjective it should be kind, personas amables, kind people. Okay, kind. Mm -hmm. Thank you, that's very nice. Continue working, perfect. Okay. In work, uh, complicated. 
Um, or, uh, also happy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, quiero ver qué podría decir. Uh, uh, and I didn't anybody. Okay. Ahora yo. Sí. But what did you enjoy the most about school? Ahí sería como qué gusto. Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, I did. I did you enjoy the school is place with with best friends in the in the class. Okay. Great. Thank you. Continue practicing. I listen to you. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Bye. What game did you play with your neighbor? I played. Played. Creo que se dice. No me played. 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 I played the Tazos mm -hmm. and Peregrina. Mm -hmm. Also, plug onion. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the, yeah. the good games. <laughs> sí. What was your best friend at the school like? Mm, I was your best friend is um, very happy. Mm -hmm. Uh, she is tall. She mm -hmm. she is um, gracious. All right. Just one okay. comment, Miss Tanya. In this one, we are talking about something from the past, so we should use the verb was. ¿verdad? En este caso, recuerde que estamos reportando cómo fue su amiga, verdad? O cómo era. Entonces, mm -hmm. eh, utilizamos el verbo to be en pasado. ¿verdad? Podríamos iniciar. My best friend was happy. Y de ahí podemos hacer una cadenita de adjetivos, ¿verdad? Pero siempre utilizando la estructura adecuada. My best friend was happy, was tall, and gracious. It's possible. Uh -huh. le, le, miss, miss, uh, miss Susana, can you please make the question one more time to her, please? ¿Cómo? ¿Le puede formu si le puede oh. formular otra vez la misma pregunta para oh, que okay. Tania le responda utilizando ya la estructura completa. Thank you. Ok. What was your best friend at the school like? My best friend is tall. My um, was, she is. Was. Remember the verb to be in the simple past. Utilizamos el was. El is ya no. Utilizamos el was. My best friend was. Uh, mm -hmm. My best, my best friend was mm -hmm. is tall, is very, very happy. Mm -hmm. um, gracias. Gracias, friend. Thank you so much. Continue practicing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Y ustedes. Ajá. Entonces sería. My my best friend was very funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> excellent, oh. excellent. Well, <laughs> when was the last time last time you felt excited? Excited. Um, excited. excited. Mm -hmm. Um sure. the the last time. Mm, eh, are you excited in eh, final eh, soccer mundial eh, 89? Excellent. 89. 89. All right. The, the, the finale of the World Cup. Uh -huh. Why? Explain why. Try to give uh, reasons why. Salvado por el teacher. Ah. <laughs> Conversemos, no voy a escuchar. 
puede ser salvación o no tanto salvación, para decir No, yo lo voy a ver a ustedes conversando. No, All right. Uh -huh. like, Why, Osvaldo? Or... Why did you feel excited? Porque él se sintió muy emocionado en esa final. Uh, bah, ver. A champion is mm -hmm. Brazil. Champion Brazil. soccer is Brazil. Oh, oh, perfect. <laughs> uh, I don't remember, to be honest. <laughs> I <laughs> don't fine. remember. <laughs> okay, fine. Thank you. Continue asking. Thank you so much. Okay. Perfect. Hoy, hoy le pregunto ya a usted. I live. <laughs> it was terrible. They left me a lot of homework. How would you feel like Oswald? Mm, what? Ah, ah the most. I was enjoy the most is matemática and social. No, 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 estábamos en la dos. ¿En la dos? Ajá, sí, es que yo le hice dos preguntas en esa. Ah, y, y trabajo, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí, sí, trabajo. Ah, and, ¿y cómo no, sería? Work. Como no trabajo, sí, sé cómo tendría que Sería como, I don't, I don't work. want work. I don't work. I, 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 I don't work. I don't work. Uh -huh. Okay. No sabía que él estaba aquí. Me surprise, surprise. Me y de repente, por alguien está en su casa. Escuché a alguien ahí. Así que yo de sorpresa para ver si estamos practicando. No, pero no me encontró practicando, ¿verdad? Excelente. Yeah, that's nice. That's really good. That's really good. Okay. All right. Create the final question and I listen to you and then we we'll return. Formulemos la última pregunta, les escucho y regresamos a la sala principal. Ah, la, la última. Yes. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ah, vaya, ok. When was the last time you felt excited? Excited? Uh, excited. Okay. I was the most exciting is the Monday when I did an exam mm -hmm. on time because I was late. And you finished the exam? Yes. Es que le, le contaba a, a Dora de que uh -huh. el examen duraba una hora cincuenta. Ah, okay. Pero yo llegué cuando faltaba una hora para finalizar el examen. Y me tocó hacerlo en una hora. Modo flash. <ríe> Modo flash, exacto. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. We will return to the main room. Thank you so much for your time in the practice. Ok. And thanks. All right, everybody, welcome back to the main room for this session. I was checking on how you were asking and how you were answering to the different questions. And you're doing nice. Remember, every time we learn something new and we continue improving. So good job on this one. Before we leave, I just want to tell you uh, and remind you that today is the final session. And I personally want to thank you for your time and for the effort you did to be here and also for the effort in the platform and to be able or to have the disposition to participate in every, in every question and your disposition to participate in the breakup rooms. I really appreciate that. And besides that, remember that is part of your learning process and that is going to help you a lot, okay? Nada más eh, recordarles que esta es nuestra última sesión de este curso. Agradecerles por el tiempo que han hecho, el esfuerzo y el compromiso que han demostrado tanto en las prácticas que hemos hecho en vivo y en la plataforma. Yo he visto por ahí su esfuerzo y yo sé que tenemos, eh, ya se completó la plataforma eh, un 100% y eso habla muy bien de ustedes. Y animarles a siempre seguir practicando. Recuérdense que la práctica es su mejor amigo cuando aprendemos un idioma. Así que motivarles a siempre hacer, a dar lo mejor de ustedes. 
a cada uno tenemos nuestro ritmo de aprendizaje y no, no deberíamos medirnos a comparación de otro compañero, es decir, el otro habla más, yo hablo menos, a mí me cuesta más. Cada uno tiene su ritmo de aprendizaje, pero con compromiso y con dedicación se alcanza el objetivo. Así que no se me desanime y echémosle siempre ganas. Y si en el futuro vuelvo a estar con ustedes acá en el grupo, pues qué bien. Y si no, pues sigan con esa actitud muy positiva de aprender y practicar y eso les va a llevar a alcanzar su meta. It was a pleasure for me. Era un gusto, es un gusto para mí haberles conocido y haberles, espero haberles ayudado aunque sea un poquito y sacarles dudas de los contenidos en clase. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Gracias, teacher. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. 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 Thank también felicitarlo a usted por su desempeño, porque la verdad es que nos motiva mucho a, a aprender y, y a mí me despierta más el interés por, uh -huh. por querer aprender más, porque no es un, un teacher aburrido, ni, ni así, ¿verdad? Que, no sé, como esos teachers que hay que a uno más lo desanima. Después, después nos, echamos, nos echamos un chiste chiclín, ya ves, por la, por la hora que ah. se nos reímos. <risa> Ay, se le entiende bien en inglés. Ok. Uh -huh. Perfect. Thank you so much for your words. Muchas gracias por sus palabras. All right. Uh, dígame, Miss Dora. Mañana, mañana mm -hmm. va a haber videoconferencia o ahora no te pedimos. Ahora es la última videoconferencia, Miss Dora. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Ahora Entonces, sería la última. cuando he vuelto a empezar el otro punto? Sí, eso sí, porque tienen ellos igual que revisar eh, su progreso en la plataforma y también sacar el cálculo del tiempo de conexión. Recuérdese que debemos cumplir con un requisito de conexión y un requisito de también completar la plataforma para continuar en el curso. Entonces, eh, muy pronto se les va a notificar del de nuevo inicio. No sería mañana que va a iniciar el siguiente módulo, sino que se les va a notificar a cada uno personalmente. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. okay. Gracias. Okay. All right, thank you. Let's do this one uh, on the last time. Dinora Lizette Pineda. Present. Thank you. Dora Mary Beltrán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Félix Edgardo Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Israel Antonio Torres. Israel Antonio Torres. Probably not at this time. Lilian Saray Montes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marcela Ivonne Nerio. Not at this moment. Lisette uh, Marisol Flores. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Maria de Los Angeles, not here. Uh, Norman Rivera. I'm here. Thank you. Rebecca Ivonne Rivas. Present. Thank you. Uh, Santos Bolaños. Present. Thank you. Saúl Alfredo Barahona. I guess he's not available at this moment. Susana Betsabe Flamenco. Present teacher. Thank you. Tania Karina Moreno. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Jamilet Escobar. Present. Thank you so much. Walter, uh, no, 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 sorry. Vilma Contreras Sumaña. Present. Thank you. Walter Alberto Tánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Eleazar Morán. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Hernández Vázquez. I am here teacher. Thank you. Yesenia Carolina Lemus. Not here. And Zulma Beatriz Pérez Galdames. Present teacher. All right. Thank you so much. And as I mentioned, I really appreciate your effort and continue doing your best. ¿verdad? Aprecio mucho su esfuerzo y motivarles a seguir siempre dando lo mejor de ustedes y eso les va a ayudar a alcanzar todas las metas que ustedes se propongan. All right, was my pleasure and have a good night and I hope to see you in the next courses. Espero verles en los siguientes cursos. Sigan adelante, right? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. 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 Th
Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye, thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Good night.